I decided to play every Call of Duty game I own, and for today's video, we are playing one of the most dark, depressing Call of Duty games of all time. And most people consider this as the most broken Call of Duty game out there. And I know what you're thinking, it's definitely not Call of Duty World War 2, that'll be for another time. But obviously, for today's video, we are playing... That's right, everybody. We are playing World at War in 2024. And my god, mate, you know how hard it was to find a match in 2024? It's also funny as well because when World at War came out, a lot of people didn't really like it because a lot of people got sick and tired of the World War II setting because you had Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3, Big Red 1, or whatever the heck it is now. So I think that's why a lot of people went back to Call of Duty 4 instead. But of course, there were players playing World at War back in the day, especially bloody freaking zombies. And I can't say that word because YouTube will be a pain in the ass. But also, if you wondering why the video is so much more shorter than usual yeah the game is so bugged out man it's so hard to play the older call of duty games because of the different servers and whatever so my experience playing world at war was such a pain in the ass but i still played it and gave it a crack because i want to show everybody how it is in 2024 and also put out more content for all of you guys but besides that i'll shut up and let's continue the video of whatever i was doing when i was recording this so yeah this is great oh my god yeah oh man call of duty world at War considered one of the most depressing games you could ever play in your life. Oh, for f**k's sake. What's up guys, it's Jonathan, and for today's video, we are playing Call of Duty World at War. One of the most depressing, darkest Call of Duty games that they've ever released in the franchise. Because if you never played the campaign before, holy crap dude, that is so freaking dark and depressing, man. Well, it is a World at War game, what am I talking about? But if you never played the campaign before, man, I would really consider it because, oh my god. Oh, it's a good campaign, okay? So anyways, like what I did on my last videos on Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to see if you can still find multiplayer matches in 2024 and see how long it's going to take to find matches because of where I live. It's going to take a little bit longer compared to your Americans, Canadians, whatever you're from. So hopefully I'll be able to find a match, but I'm not really getting my hopes up. But you know what? Let's give it a go. First, let me just click on the multiplayer, not Nazi zombies because oh freaking hell, I freaking hate that. Okay, I'm not a bitch, all right? All right, let's click on Xbox Live. And there we go. Oh my God, I'm actually a higher level on this. I'm level 19, okay? And currently, we have 573 players online. You know what? That's pretty good for a very old game like this. My god, man. I mean, the class setups are basically the same, like Call of Duty 4. This is COD 4 by World War 2 edition. <laughs> so I'm going to be the toxic one and use the MP40 with a suppressor and the bloody juggernaut perk because those two combos were the biggest mistake of your life. But you know what? I don't care. Little lobby leaderboard. Oh, yeah, let's go. So currently, we only have 73 players on the core playlist. That is oh, freaking hell, man. That's just so little. What the hell? But obviously, 65 people are playing TDM because all those other modes might be dead at the moment. War's only got 7 players, and that's really it. My god, that's so dead, dude. But anyways, let's go and find a team deathmatch, and hopefully we can actually find a match. If not, I'll just go and play the campaign or zombies, whatever. Well, hopefully it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh my god, we actually found one. Oh no, is that Roundhouse? Ooh! I know a lot of people had a lot of problems with this game back then. Oh, for god's sake. Mainly because of all the broken weapons, the broken perks. But it's a cool Ugly game. What were you guys expecting? expecting Oh, we found one. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh yeah, two bar. So yeah, when people talk about the multiplayer for World at War, a lot of people didn't really find it as interesting because people got sick and tired of the World War setting. So most people were playing COD 4 instead. Overall, I mean, it really depends on what everyone's like because I know most people played Zombies more. Oh damn it, dude. But for me, it was very different because I, like what I said in my last video, I didn't have Xbox Live when I was younger, so I was only able to play in, like, the campaign and zombies. Because it's like what I said earlier, because one, like, the most darkest, depressing campaigns you could ever play. And it actually, like, represents, like, what war is all about properly. And the zombies, I was only able to play Nugget of Totem, I believe, because I didn't have anything else back in the day. But it was very different for me until you get to the later Call of Duty game. Bullshit! God's sake. Damn, this game is so laggy. <laughs> Thank you. I like how simple it used to be back in the day. Nowadays, look at COD now. If they ever did a World War game again, it would not do well. I mean, look what happened to the freaking Vanguard. That is going to be the biggest bullcrap I've ever seen in my life. I'm freaking blind. It's laggy as shit. I still can't believe I found a match. Everybody. I mean, considering how old the game is on a bloody Xbox, I'm very surprised. Sometimes you wish they just did remasters, but that's never going to happen. There's Call of Duty's a pain in the ass to deal with now. Hello, anyone here? Come here. 
Thank you. Oh my god, where are you? Oh, Blake, Joe, I got something about right. Oh, Boogie Man. You see how the fades all with Blake MP40s? That's the problem with the game. It's broken. Uh, sometimes I wish I can go back to the old days and play when these games were brand new. Because all the new COD games now don't feel the same anymore, man. I know, like, what I said in my last video, I know we're getting older, but god damn it, dude. Happened. Oh my. Yeah, I would have killed him if I had the proper connection, you know? But we haven't had proper connection in this game for years. My god. Give me a freaking break, dude. I'm stuck. I'm la- Oh, what the <laughs> God damn, I got better experience on freaking Modern Warfare 2 than this. Oh, okay. I've got to, like, shoot, like, a second earlier or something. I'm not complaining, though, but, man, I actually found an action 2024. Thank you. Really? What the fuck happened to my screen? You'll be coming around the Oh, my god. <laughs> Bingo! God damn it, not the blame, Marty Dot. Aww. Oh. You know what? 12 kills is good enough for me. Airfield? Really? So every time I go back to an old COD game, they give you like one of the crappiest maps or some whatever. <laughs> Man, what a different time to play Call of Duty now. Mm, especially when people go and talk about all the different things in their lifetime, and there's me like, hey guys, how's it going? I'm playing freaking World at War in 2024. Man, when people think about that, oh yeah, that sounds about right. Put me on the Ah, oh, yeah, it's gonna be a good experience for me. Ah, when people talk about the one thing in their lifetime, I'm talking about why am I playing this game in 2024? Come on. Yeah. Thank you. Damn, I wish I can just experience the game without lag, please. I've got good things to talk about the game, but uh, I am surprised I haven't found any hackers. Because this game is hacked to shit. I guess most people just got fed up hacking all the time and they just left it. Same time, why would you hack an old game? That is like the most pathetic thing you could ever do on old video games. X Minute, like Xbox are like, hey guys, we're gonna bring all the COD games on Game Pass. Let's fix the game. And it costs a lot of money for these games in the first place. They're not cheap. Come on, come on. Yeah. <gasps> this is gonna be a bad idea. If I didn't go a freaking pistol, I'm gonna do it. What the fuck is this guy doing? Snake. Oh, he's doing the snake. God, God damn it. That is the biggest bullshit I've ever seen. Think you killed them? Then the game's like, nah, go and get stuck. Damn, this game's getting a pain in the ass now. Why is this not hitting? Oh, damn, this game's getting hard to play, man. I don't understand why a lot of people don't play this game anymore. Oh, okay, sick. Thanks, game. Who the freaking got dogs now? God, stop lagging. Oh no, dog. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh no, oh no. Sensitive for YouTube. Don't want to play Peter or whatever they are called coming to get me. Oh my god. Could have been the biggest bull crap of all time. Fuck, suck, lag, stop lagging. Please, can't deal with this. What's the important playing? Fuck. Oh, this experience is going really well for me, you know. Thank you. They spawned there. How am I on top of the leaderboard? What the fuck? Well, okay, that's the biggest bullshit I've ever seen. I don't even know what's the even point of even playing now. Can't do anything. Please. That absolutely sucked. God, that was terrible. I mean, I would keep playing, but it's so laggy, dude. I just can't play it properly. But you know what? For how long I was playing it for, that's good enough for me. Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. I'm sorry the video is a little bit more shorter compared to my other videos. Like, just trying to play World at War in 2024 has actually been a pain in the ass because of the server problems that the game does have. I'm not able to play it properly because of where I live as well. So, would I say is it worth playing World at War in 2024? I am going to say not really. The game is full of hackers now, and the game is starting to die really fast now. And I would say that the game is starting to just go bare bones, so it's really hard to find matches. But if you're going to go and play, like, the zombie, Zombies or the campaign, I would say go for it. But if you're just gonna play strictly for multiplayer, don't even bother. Just go home, go to bed. But besides that, everybody, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. But besides that, everybody, take care of yourself and I will see you guys in my next video.